Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Future Stars, is it a W or is it an L? We are only one day into this promo and there are a lot of opinions on these new Future Stars cards that have been released. Some people liking that we're having different cards, players that we don't often see getting upgraded in special cards in FIFA 23, and others are not too happy about the stat boost and specifically in a few areas for these cards. It just doesn't quite cut it. But I want to talk about today why both of those opinions I think are valid. W promo and L promo at the same time with everything that we saw yesterday. I also want to look at the SBC and objective content and a really funny thing that happened yesterday with leaks, especially regarding the Fabio Vieira SBC that we had. And I also want to talk about the market because the market is still crazy high as there were not a lot of really panic selling opportunities yesterday. A lot of the market stayed high and some prices went even higher across this game. It was a decent day to make coins and we're still thinking the market's going to stay that way until there is some sort of catalyst to make panic happen. And as it looks right now, I don't think these future star cards are really making that much panic. So we'll talk about all of that and what to expect today on a Saturday in FIFA 23. If you're excited for the video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and comment down below what you think this promo is, a W or an L based off the cards that we got. And that's where I want to start with us today and start the conversation is these future stars cards. Because honestly, I think Team 1 is going to have bigger names than Team 2. This is a two-week promo, again, confirmed by EA on their website. We kind of know this all along. So this is Team 1, right? We're going to have another set of these Next week, there are some pretty big names in here with some nice upgrades. Of course, Mudrick, he was extinct at a million coins flat right away. We obviously knew that was too cheap based on the stat boost that they gave him. A lot of the leaks were correct. These cards, they did give Mudrick 90 dribbling. They gave him the five-star skills. He was extinct at 1 million coins. He got updated to about 2.1, and right now, he's still about 1.6 million coins. Very hyped card. Mudrick and Alvarez, I think, are the two most hype cards in this promo team, and you can tell by the price too, right? 2.1 mil for Alvarez right now. It's nice that we can all try Alvarez for free um, in the moment sto section, the moment store. You can pay zero moment stars to go and get yourself a seven-game loan Alvarez. I tried him out. He was actually pretty fun to use. Uh, so again, a lot of people like this promo because it's different players, and a lot of the players, honestly, are, you know, pretty affordable with decent stats. Vitinha, 350k. Elanga, 172,000 coins but then of course you've got some of the bigger names some more exciting ones like the Alvarez, Mudrick, Gavi, Adeyemi that are pretty expensive so this promo is cool in the fact that we're getting players that haven't got a lot of special cards before and I mean for good measure because they're pretty young or maybe they haven't hit their biggest potential yet right it's all about these are breakthrough talents that th these are the types of stats they could have as their career progresses um, and that's why this cool this promo is always cool because you get different players and it's, it's cards and it's, it's players you're not usually using in this game so that's kind of the biggest argument for that this promo is a w and like look at some of these boosts on these stats right you got plus 23 shooting on mudrick we have some pace boosts that are like 20 plus 20 or plus 30 a lot of these guys have like low rated gold or silver base cards which by the way if somebody has a silver base card like Elanga does, you can pack this Elanga, this Future Stars one, out of a silver pack right now. There's going to be a couple more cards in the mini release that are going to be silver base cards as well. So maybe those League SBC grinds, um, silver packs, wherever you can get them. Maybe a little bit extra um, reasoning to open those packs because you can technically pack a Future Star out of a silver pack since his base card is silver. So that's the cool part about this right now. Um, the L part about this promo is... The stat boost that we have seen here, it feels like, yes, it's cool, but also it just seems a little underwhelming, especially in some specific areas and specific stats that make cards play really well in game and feel really good. And I'm specifically talking about the composure and the reaction stat. I think these, these stats are often overlooked, but they oftentimes really make a huge difference in game on how a player feels. And if you look at a lot of these cards, a lot of the composure and reaction stats are low on them, but that's not a surprising thing to see because for a lot of these guys with the insane massive boost that they have gotten you know their base cards have pretty low composure and reactions as well and ea doesn't often boost composure and reactions that much on cards like this that don't have a, a very high base stat anyway that is what that is was my biggest kind of um 
disappointment with all these cards is like 83 reactions and 85 composure right now in this game if you go take a look at a lot of the centurions cards or like take a look at some of these honorable mentions that were just out of packs kane has 96 composure 96 reactions we got used to seeing a lot of cards with mid to high 90s in those stack categories and they just play a lot smoother in game so that's where a lot of people are not happy with this promo and of course you look at some of the prices on the top tier cards too you're like man these guys are kind of expensive as well uh, for, you know, those top tier, top echelon players. So whatever way you want to look at it, I think we need to maintain some positivity with it because, again, we do complain a lot about how different players are getting, uh, or actually how EA is using the same players over and over and over all the time for promos. And this is really a huge opportunity for them to break out of that, right? Because a lot of these guys haven't had very many specials if any at all this year so i like this promo it is cool but i do have to also realize that we're going to be let down in any regard think about where we're coming from we're coming from team of the year where we are seeing some of the highest rated whether it's the honorable mentions or the actual team of the year cards we are seeing some of the best cards that we will see i mean even for a couple months from now in this game with the stats that we have been looking at for the past week or week and a half with these team of the year cards like this is as good as it gets uh, basically until team of the season so anything that's going to follow up a promo like team of the year is going to seem a little underwhelming so we have to kind of keep that context in mind too but you know that's why i wanted to ask you guys and put your thoughts again in the comments what you think i think future stars is a cool promo i like the concept do i wish they boosted the cards a little bit more and made them feel a little bit better maybe with some uh, extra composure and some reactions boost yeah i do and i'm not saying that all the other stats in these cards are fine some of the other like adiemi i think needs a bigger boost as well mudrick looks pretty good but right he's one of the most expensive ones so that's kind of my thoughts on the promo. Let me know what you think down in the comments. I'm really curious to hear you guys' thoughts because um, this is a promo that always stirs up some conversation like that. Now, let's go to SBCs and talk about the player that was dropped the year yet yeah, there yesterday, Fabio Vieira. And if you saw this leak yesterday, we had no idea this Fabio was coming. But once you see the leak, it kind of makes sense. But first, this SBC card, Fabio Vieira, another Arsenal card, 90 acceleration, 81 sprint speed. Really good uh, passing stats, 96 vision, pretty solid dribbling stats, a very, a pretty well-rounded well card. He's got the outside foot shot, flare pass, swerve pass trade, four-star, four-star, a lot of alternate positions, center mid cam, right and right wing and right uh, wing, mid and wing. Um, you know, this card, it's not terrible. And the price, of course, isn't that horrendous either. But this isn't the Fabio that we were expecting. And a lot of people are looking to this tweet right here and kind of it's kind of like a laugh it's kind of a meme almost this is probably going to be one of the memes that we look back on fifa 23 and think about foot sheriff yesterday leaked fabio carvalho same position same league same nationality and different player fabio vieira fabio carvalho and he said apologies made a mistake uh it was arsenal fabio not liverpool fabio truly sorry at this time there is no fabio carvalho card added so it just gets you thinking about how does he get these leaks in the first place and what all information does he get to even start the leak process off but in any rate this is something that we'll kind of think about for a while and laugh at for sure of course if you're a liverpool fan it doesn't make you that happy you would have loved to see this card in the game but it's just so funny that it happens to be on this very weekend that this mistake happens because this today is the one year anniversary of this tweet this one year ago on this saturday february 5th last year february 4th this year was the mid I icon r9 sbc leak which of course we all know is probably the biggest leak meme in the history of fifa community leaks on twitter because this sbc never dropped right and this is what everybody makes fun of and comments about and it's funny it was pain at the time because it didn't drop but you know this was last year literally on this day so just kind of funny that those mistakes happen year over year at around the same time but we did have the fabio vieira yesterday not fabio carvalho and uh to be honest this sbc on footbin um the up the upvote to downvote ratio is there's a lot more upvotes and downvotes it's not that expensive if you run a premier league side you want to try to fun unique new type player again Composure 86, eight reactions 81, not the highest, but it's fun. So if you're here to have fun, that's a perfect card uh, for you, especially if you're an Arsenal fan, you're loving that one. Now, in objectives, we had our first Future Stars Academy player, and a lot of people are not a fan of this because, again, 
it just takes a lot of a grind for a player that, yes, is 88 rated, but it's Bundesliga, doesn't have the best uh, links, doesn't have the best stats, definitely usable, a lot of alternate positions. We love that about the Future Stars promo. Many of these guys have great alternate positions, but it takes, what is it, 35 or something games to get this card fully unlocked. That's just a lot. Now, you do have a lot of time to do it. You have until the end of the season, which is 40 days, so plenty of time. And we do believe that is going to be the first of five different cards that we will see released as Academy Objectives. That screen that was here yesterday is now gone, and we did not see the Anthony Gordon, so I don't know what's going on with this league. I would expect EA to probably front load these pretty often. We could see another one today or another one tomorrow on Sunday, but uh, of course the Gordon, SBC, or Gordon Objective we thought we were going to see we actually did not end up seeing. So hopefully this will come soon and add to the hype of the Future Stars Academy. I wonder if they really wanted to start with this SBC or sorry, I keep saying SBC. If they wanted to start with this objective yesterday, but instead they couldn't because he changed clubs. I'm not entirely sure how that works. There's not a Newcastle version of Gordon in the game yet, but they changed Jorginho on the fly. So you would think they'd be able to change this one. Who knows? But I would still would expect to see this one pretty soon. We just don't know exactly when. So that was kind of the roundup of content yesterday. There was a little, um, there was a Player of the Month SBC that was released as well, and another token SBC, along with the Marcus Rashford Player of the Month, which it did get the 87 rated card. They didn't upgrade the weak, uh, the work rates or the weak foot. He was high low for his first Player of the Month. They didn't maintain that for this one. But I think this Rashford is one that a decent amount of people are doing. Some of your uh, Manchester United links are up and it's not a terrible SBC. It's just okay, at least value-wise, in my opinion. And of course, with nothing content-wise yesterday really changing the market that much, a lot of your prices just kept going up. And specifically, a lot of your players from the Team of the Year Honorable Mentions started to go up as well. I picked up an Alfonso Davies and a Harry Kane yesterday, even after content, because I saw their prices starting to move. Alfonso Davies went from like 295, almost 300. He's nearing 320,000 coins. Um, Bukayo Saka is up a lot. Koulibaly is up a lot. Cancelo is up a lot. Uh, Harry Kane, which I actually got a crazy lazy sale on him. I sold him for 410,000 coins. He right now is about 320K. I bought a Kane yesterday at 300,000 coins. So, you know, there are prices that are rising on this game and prices that are staying very high because the content yesterday was kind of just okay, right? Pedri's up a little bit. Valverde's up a little bit. Vinny. Again, the, the Saka, you saw an extra rise on almost 300,000 coins now, but this is directly related to the Fabio uh, Vieira SBC yesterday that we saw, right? 260, boom, all the way to 290, kind of where he is now. There's a direct correlation there. Team of the Year icons being out of packs. Muller is up. Makalili is up. David Beckham's 4 mil in a moment of rarity right now. Nesta, Vaynerstar, Cole, Perez, all up in price. And of course, if you take a look at your Team of the Year cards, Messi is 6 mil. De Bruyne is 3.5 million coins. Um, I saw Teo Hernandez at uh, 1.55 at one point yesterday. Hakimi is 2.2. Courtois is even 3 80. These cards all just keep going up, and that's kind of the MO for the rest of the market as well. A lot of your Centurions cards are up. Fred went up a little bit yesterday. Verratti's up a little bit. Most of the cards on the market right now are continuing to stay very, very high in value because, like we said, there's really no catalyst or no sort of reasoning right now to make prices really fall on this game. Like, what is going to make people panic sell? Just the fact that the market's very, very high? Not really. You know, it might not be a terrible time to just be careful with the cards that you have right now in this market because of that, but there has to be some sort of fear of panic or something upcoming that would make people want to sell cards uh, to actually start to make prices go down a lot. So that's why I think you're seeing prices continuing to be very high. It was a really good day to flip uh, these cards yesterday on this game. I bought this dude at 500. I bought this at 338. 205. I didn't make coins on uh, Vitinha. I sold them a bit too early, but these guys are holding value even a lot better than I thought, which just tells you how high the market is. Both of these were at 200,000 coins. The Ashin was my biggest profit. I bought that at 600k flat, uh, I guess besides Kane, but that was a lazy sale. So it's still a really healthy market to trade in. These future star cards are going to bounce around a lot. And I've already seen them bounce around a lot. Uh, as I take a look at like Mudrick's card and, um, you know, even the 
Vitinha that we talked about. These guys, especially Mudrick, because a lot of people wanted to get their hands on this car to try him out. It's going to be interesting to see where these guys fluctuate to and from today. Yes, they do seem very expensive, but there's also just a lot of hype because these are cards that you don't normally see special cards for. So keep a close eye on future stars today. There will be a lot of opportunities to trade with them. Now let's talk about today a little bit more content wise. I think there's one piece of content today that we should be getting and it's on EA's website. This is something that we see often during future stars, the future stars dual potential, which basically, if you remember all the way back to a few years ago in future stars, we had the Curtis Jones, right? Where they gave us two different Curtis Jones cards. Um, last year, I forget who we had, but we had another SBC where it gave you two different options for a future stars player. There's a leak right now for Vonderson and he is added to come as a future stars SBC dual potential. He is two base, two different cards. Basically there'll be one SBC to complete and you'll get to choose in a player pick afterwards whether you want the one card or the other. Now, his card in game, he has right wing, right mid, and right back positions. And I believe this card is based off of the right back. As you can see, higher defense, higher physical. This card has got more pace, shooting, passing, and dribbling than the other one has. So, Monaco links, uh, of course, guys like Ben Yedder. And some of your, um, even I bet like Neymar could be impacted by this guy in price a little bit if the stats are good enough. But this is kind of our next up piece of content, I believe. And these are always fun, right? Uh, Vonderson being Brazilian in the League One, there's some potential links there that could be pretty good. And if these are stats, I believe these are predicted stats, um, not confirmed. But hopefully they juice him up just a little bit more, especially if he's going to be an attacker in the right wing side. The right back, we would love 90 pace, but the rest of the card looks pretty solid. As long as it's decently cheap as well, might be a nice option uh, for the League One side of things. Brazilian fans out there might be looking to get this guy. So that's kind of the next up piece of content, I would imagine. I do believe today is going to be a pretty quiet day. Now, we probably would get some more tokens as well. We are on 13 swap tokens at the moment, which is crazy because we have... 13 of them that have been available and i'll leave this link in the description if you don't know where they're all at this is the leak uh not a leak but this is the link to the website it's a nice tracker for them they dropped three yesterday so we are now on 13 of course inside of the lindstrom objective inside of the future stars sbc challenge one and another store pack now today we might see one or two more another future stars sbc is possible another store pack is possible um, so watch out for that. But again, we are not going to be getting the rewards for that and not able to actually go and return our swap tokens to get a reward, I believe, until Monday the 6th. That is the date. Um, I believe it was on EA's forum somewhere. I can't find it on EA's website, but that is the date that we imagine we'll be able to start turning in our rewards, which basically means Monday we'll be able to start redeeming rewards because if you've kept up with the token grind at all, a lot of us probably have multiple tokens all ready. So watch out for that. But they dropped the 75k pack here in the store yesterday. It's out here for the whole entire week. So don't feel the rush to open it right now if you don't want to. But that is there from the token grind. And then the other ones yesterday were in the SBC and objective as we pointed out. So let's talk about SBC fodder because that's another interesting part of the market that, you know, isn't quite moving as much as I thought it would have after yesterday's content. But I think after thinking through it a little bit, the reason why we're not seeing fodder prices as low as I maybe would have originally thought we would have seen today heading into Saturday is we still have a lot of SBCs that are out there that people are probably catching up on and doing, right? We've got all the player SBCs from last week during team of the year. We still have the 88 plus prime mid or world cup icon upgrade that is technically still out in the game. Even though I did this last week, like first day while opening packs during team of the year, this SBC is still here and available. So I'm sure some people are still doing this, still doing other player SBCs, Bore, Jutgla, Richarlison, you know, all the Ramos, Fofana, Jorginho. Jorginho, there's probably more people doing him yesterday after the Fabio Vieira that was uh, put out as well. Maybe the Fofana, like we mentioned, uh, plenty, uh, even Rashford, right? There are plenty of SBCs out there demanding these cars. 84s are 4K, which is kind of cheap, but not that cheap. So maybe they'll go a little bit lower today. I just feel like today, Besides this player pick SBC or something along those lines, I don't think it's going to be that crazy of a day of content. And I feel like if you wanted to wait to buy fodder, we might be able to wait one more day. But uh, with the way the fodder market looks right now, it may not go too much lower because there's still a lot of SBCs that are out there 
in demand. So if EA start adding on, if they do another like icon or a hero SBC either tomorrow on Sunday or, or later on Monday, these cards are still probably going to be their lowest between, you know, the late Friday, which we are in right now. And I'm posting this video in depending on your time zone. And then, of course, into Saturday, maybe Saturday night. That's when I would expect to stock up on the fodder and see it at its lowest point, even though prices aren't really that low fodder during this point of the year is usually a lot more expensive um in general than it usually is just because there's so many more sbcs out and people have more coins to do sbcs as well so i'm still watching the fodder i'd like to see it drop a little bit lower some of your 91s drop down a bit but i do believe today is the day that uh zidane expires or tomorrow so again that's a big sbc that is have a that has a lot of demand and for high rated fodder and once this one goes away that's going to be something tomorrow it expires. That's going to be something that will kind of decrease some of that demand. Now, there's still play the month in Bappe out there, but that's a big SBC with high rated squads that will take some demand away uh, when it leaves. So that's kind of what's going on with this game right now at the moment with the SBC fodder. Watch the prices more today. I do think it'll be a great time to stock up on that fodder and just be careful if you are trading. I bought a Mudrick tonight under 1.6 mil because A, I wanted to try him out. B, I thought, you know what? This guy could go up a little bit more tomorrow. So he's right around the price that I bought him at. This guy could realistically, honestly, if I had to guess what's gonna happen with Mudrick, he went to 2 million coins, right? It's price range is updated right now he's about 1.6 and i'm watching this video i would not be surprised if he went back down to like 1.5 lows had a low drop this morning on saturday and then went back up in price as people went out and wanted to buy his card and try him out uh, as a lot of people be playing foot champs today so i'm keeping a close eye on this card i'm gonna go try him out as well since i just picked him up see how good he feels in game and of course he fits right into the squad with our new additions that we have had so walking on a team of the year again with the Pirlo, the Van Dyke, and the Koulibaly, and then all the other SPCs we've been able to craft. It was a massive, massive W for team of the year, and uh, yeah, I'm excited to see what happens in the next couple weeks as well. If we can add any new players into this in from this Permal team into our squad, really, Mudrick is kind of the only one that would do that, maybe Alvarez too, but you know. It just is what it is. A lot of cool cards right now in this game. So again, let me know in the comments what you think about future stars. And we'll see how EA maybe tries to shake things up today on Saturday. Or maybe how it's just more of a quiet day. So if you enjoyed today's video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan Foot Accountant. See you guys later. Peace out.